Uh, good afternoon. There's um, Today I want to talk about things I quite frankly don't believe. Um, yesterday was my birthday. I talked to my younger brother. I called him on Skype. He was working and we talked back and forth. And I've been, I had a question for him because uh, it, basically I talked to an engineer from Chrysler's this summer and he told me that the uh, diesel engines were so filthy that the Americans couldn't even imagine bringing them into the United States of America. And I remember reading an article in Playboy magazine years ago, and the guy talked about, uh, he picked up a hitchhiker, and the hitchhiker was uh, bitching and moaning about his diesel Mercedes, and he said, I understand that diesels are cleaner. And I know they have particulate matter that is more uh, polluting than... Um, gasoline. But I also know that if we went to uh, just plant fuel, if we went to coconut oil, soybean oil, uh, peanut oil, or even hemp oil, oh my God, God forbid we use anything with hemp, which is uh, a relative of marijuana, but not marijuana itself, uh, there would be absolutely no fuel or no pollution except for the uh, pesticides uh, used to grow the plants. Um, it's almost that clean burning. But the engineers said that they were working diligently to uh, make sure that uh, they could get diesel engines that didn't pollute uh, as badly. But uh, I called my younger brother because he knows a lot. He knows a lot about cars, and he just knows a lot about a lot. And uh, I said to him, you know, look, I've got a RAV 4x4 uh, diesel, and it's got a lot of pep, and I get 35 miles to the gallon. I had a... Toyota Sequoia 2x4 that got 14 miles to the gallon. And I said, you know, I find it hard to believe that uh, my 4x4, 33 mile per gallon diesel puts out more pollution than the 14 mile per gallon Sequoia, which is allowed to states. And, the, and uh, I can't import my diesel into America. And he said, no. He said, I think you're right. I think it's it's uh, all politics. Uh, a friend of mine has a Renault in England, and if she drives it at highway speeds, she gets 70 miles to the gallon. That's seven zero for all of you who are in America going, boy, I get 22 miles to the gallon out of my Ford, and that's pretty damn good. Uh, but I don't believe it. I don't believe much of what the American government says, but, but that, the, that, they, that a 70 mile per gallon diesel in a Renault uh, is polluting more than a 22 or even a 30 mile per gallon uh, Ford. Uh, if somebody can prove me wrong, I, I'm willing to look at it. But uh, my brother and I don't see to eye, eye to eye on a lot of things. He's conservative, I'm liberal, but we got talking about the uh, American elections that are upcoming, and he said, you know, I've voted for Ron Paul the last two times, and I've wrote, voted for Ron Paul myself. I thought, well, that's interesting. We're both um, apparently well-read, uh, apparently smarter than the average bear because the two clowns that are running um, are bought and sold as far as I'm concerned, like I said yesterday, by the uh, powers that be. And, but I uh, wonder what it would take to get somebody like Ron, Power, uh, Ron Paul in there. Uh, I, it looks like a long, 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 long shot, and then apparently most people are pushed around by the propaganda. But what was fascinating to me was my brother and I have very different lives, very different views, and yet on one thing that we agree on, is that the American government is completely corrupt, and Ron Paul may be the solution, but on inaugural day, he may watch the same film as the rest of them. <laughs> www.micpeakperformance.com. Have a fun day.